This is a strength of materials problem and in this one we have two pieces of wood that are glued together right here and at an angle of 60 degrees and they want us to find uh, the normal stress and the shearing stress at the glue splice. As you can see we have a force that's pulling this assembly apart and in order to for us to see the forces better at, in its interior we're gonna redraw it and just omit one side of it I omitted the top part this is only the bottom part and we're gonna break up our force and that is because as we know our formulas our normal stress is force over area shearing stress also force over area and they are, the difference between the two is how they are applied. The normal force is perpendicular to the surface. The shearing stress is uh, parallel to the surface. Our force P is neither of those. So we have to use vector calculations and break it up into its components. And then we're going to find a perpendicular component and a parallel component. From these two, we're going to be able to find our stresses. Okay, after we did our components, we can take a look at our angles. We see that this is a 60 degree angle, so therefore this will be a 60 degree angle as well. So I'm gonna mark it as such. There you go. And now we can go ahead, use uh, sine and cosine to help us calculate our components. So, for P parallel, this one, this will help me find the shearing stress. So to calculate it, we're gonna be doing, let's see, uh, we're gonna have 60, cosine 60, we're gonna use this triangle right here, and we're gonna use cosine. So this side will equal to P, our hypotenuse, times cosine 60. Also for our P perpendicular this one is the same as this one right here so we're going to use the same triangle and to find this side we're going to have P times and this time we're going to use sine 60. Alright now we have the two force components from our formulas that we need, we need to find our area now, which is this slanted surface that's at 60 degrees. It's not uh, across the beam, it's across the way it's glued. So that's the area we need to find now. I have sketched the area that we are interested in. This is right here. This is it. This is the one that's at 60 degrees inside the beam. This is where the glue lies between the two materials and we need to find this area. This back area we know it's uh, 3 inches so that one is given but here we don't know this one. What we, know, we do know is this one down here. This is 5 inches and that would also mean, wow that was a straight line, let's make a, that mean that this one this straight line, excuse my straight line over here. This is also 5 inches. So we can use this triangle right here. This is a right hand triangle. Where we know that we are given this is 60 degrees. So we can also use a sine. Where is it? There it is. Sine to find our hypotenuse. This will be our hypotenuse in this triangle that we're going to be working with. So therefore I can write sine of 60 degrees equals the opposite over hypotenuse, right? So opposite for us is 5 inches and the hypotenuse is what we're looking for. So I'm just going to call it H. Okay, I went ahead, uh, solved for H, plugged in our values and calculated that H is equal to 5.77 inches. Now we know this side, this side, we can go ahead and calculate our area. 
I went ahead, plugged in 3 times 5.77 inches and that's gonna give us a value of 17.3 inches squared. Now we are, we've arrived to the place where we can use our stress formulas. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, calculate these now. Let's start with the axial stress. The force over area. The force that's perpendicular to the surface over the area. We know both of these, we can just go ahead and calculate it. Okay, here we go. Force over area, my force is right here, P times sine 60 over the area that we have found. Don't forget to convert. Our force is given as 1.4 kips, so therefore 1,400 pounds. Everything else we have, plug it in, we have 70 PSI. Now let's take a look at our shear stress. Force over area, just like here, but our component is going to be different. Our force now is the parallel, which is P cosine 60, and our area is 17.3 inches square. Our P is 1400 pounds, cosine 60, 17.3 inches squared, and this will give us a value of 40.4 PSI. And there we have it.